Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. We'll get to our regularly scheduled weather coverage coming up here in just a little bit. Want to make you aware of a situation going on on Germantown Road at I-40. You're looking north toward the Wolf Chase Mall area and the northbound traffic at this time. Accident with multiple vehicles on the bridge. And again, this is happening just past 8 o'clock Saturday evening. Traffic on the loop going around around getting off I-40 and looping around to go north on Germantown Parkway. Could experience some decent slowdowns there. Uh, southbound traffic north of I-40 just beyond the flashing blue lights uh, moving but slow at this time and going past that accident with one lane in that area. So again, if you are traveling, that could be a bit of a concern for tonight. Uh, don't have anything official from TDOT at this time on the Smartway system, but backups, again, stretching all the way back to the exit area from I-40 to northbound Germantown Road. So that could, again, be a bit of a situation there for later on this evening. Currently in the Mid-South area, things are decently quiet and should be staying that way for now. But unfortunately, as we go into the next couple of days. We're going to be seeing some big changes coming on through. Definitely a time to get our weather app downloaded and ready to go. If you've never joined us before for our netcast, thanks a lot for stopping by. This is Weather Overtime, your opportunity to learn more about what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area. That's West Tennessee, East Arkansas, North Mississippi, and Memphis, Tennessee, right there in the middle of everything. More information about where what area we cover, the weather around the Mid-South, go to wreg.com slash weather and find out more about what's happening in and around the area. Welcome to everybody who's checking in for tonight. Drop your uh, city, state location and your weather reports. If you've got them, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use out there. And that's, again, wherever you're at at the time, whether it's in the Mid-South or not. We'll spend some time here talking a little bit about what's going on uh, in the Mid-South area when it comes to weather. Coming up, we'll talk about the possibility of very wet weather heading our way later on this week. Could be, again, some very high amounts of rainfall heading into the area, maybe even some flash flooding. We'll talk about that and some astronomical events that you might want to take a look at in the course of the near future. We'll talk about some backyard astronomy for you coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in uh, on my Facebook page as well, doing a dual netcast for tonight. And welcome to everybody who's stopping on by. Let's go ahead and get started again a little bit farther out of town from the inside lander on Mars. A little bit of exometeorology for you. The latest weather report from Elysium Planitia in and around the area. Big, wide, flat plain of Mars near the equator. One degree above zero, the high temperature on yesterday's weather report and a low temperature of negative 144 degrees winds out of the south southeast and wind gusts in that area to about 46 miles per hour if you haven't heard yet again the lander doing exactly what it was supposed to be doing detecting mars quakes very cool to see that mars is actually geologically active still after all this time so really again a good opportunity to see more and if you'd like to mars.nasa.gov uh, into and around the area for right now. Kevin Dunn, uh, don't think we have a scrambled image. I hope all the video is coming through clear, but uh, thanks for checking in uh, from the area tonight. Dawn Marie Harris, Selmer, Tennessee, McNary County, 31 degrees. Uh, thank you very much for this one. Amber Parsons, are we going to have a winter this year? Well, we are in the winter season, but if you're talking about winter weather, not much showing up at this point, just way too warm for anything on that or in and around the area, at least for right now anyway. Mary Jewell, South Fulton, 38 degrees. Thank you very much for that. And Rosalind Williams from Memphis, Tennessee, cold. Straight and to the point. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Welcome to everybody else who's tuning in again from for around the Mid-South and beyond this evening. Temperatures again back in the lower 30s, close to frosty as we go toward very early Sunday morning. So remember, scrape the entire windshield clean. That whole periscope driving thing is just not a smart thing to do. So again, don't do a, anything in the way of anything that is not safe uh, before you're driving out there for tonight. So again, definitely want to check in for that and make certain you tune into News Channel 3 Daybreak in the morning. We'll keep you updated on travel conditions uh, into and around the area. Here's what it looks like into and around the Mid-South 4. Again, the high temperature today back in the mid-upper 40s. And not too bad. Again, fairly close to normal, but 
pretty chilly out there all the way around. Some temperatures didn't quite even get that high for today, only in the lower 40s. Uh, into and around the area for right now, and also seeing low temperatures just a bit above normal in the mid to upper 30s for the Memphis area. Lighting up the night, the river bridges, so far some good visibility across the area for tonight, and not seeing any problems with the lights of West Memphis, Arkansas, seen quite nicely out there for this evening. Not expecting anything in the way of fog across the Mid-South for tonight, so good opportunity again for some good driving out there if you can get, again, the windshields cleared off from that frost in the morning from what it looks like. We've got very dry air in place. Again, the clouds back to the east of us from that last storm system. Some of those clouds drifting over parts of Middle Tennessee for tonight. Rain and snow mixture across New England, the mid-Atlantic states, and some more clouds heading our direction. But again, here in the Mid-South area, we've cleared the rainfall some light snow showers into parts of the Appalachians well to our east, east of Knoxville and into the Carolinas and the Virginias for tonight, but little, if anything, really helping uh, to get us anything in the way of problems here around the Mid-South area for right now. So pretty quiet out there and dry for the area for right now, so not seeing a major problem for the time being. Now we're watching not just one, but a couple of storm systems about ready to make its way through the Mid-South area for later on. Much of what we're seeing for right now is again going to be the energy of this second system sitting out over the Gulf of Alaska. That is going to give us the potential of some much heavier rainfall by week's end. Maybe even the possibility of seeing some stormy weather out there. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Temperatures at just past the top of the hour back into about the mid-30s or so. Coldest temperatures dropping down toward 33 at Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis. And also, again, seeing some very light winds. It was pretty breezy this afternoon with winds topping 20 miles per hour in some locations. But those winds are subsiding, and we should be seeing some pretty cool and dry and calm conditions into and around the Mid-South throughout the rest of the evening and right into tomorrow. But that's a good recipe for frost right there. Calm winds cold temperatures and just enough humidity to settle on the windshields out there. So something to consider if you're going to be driving uh, early in the morning. Running the numbers into the rest of the evening. Through News Channel 3 at 10, lower to mid-30s across the Mid-South. Winds toward tomorrow morning are going to be gradually making their way back toward the south, and that's going to help to warm us up. But again, tomorrow morning could be seeing some pretty frosty conditions out there. Numbers heading toward lunchtime and afterwards. Maximum temperatures into tomorrow, mid to upper 50s. Could even be a few lower 60s showing up south of the I-40 corridor into tomorrow afternoon. So very much on the mild side tomorrow a little bit on the chillier side for today and also for tonight. Again, across much of the area through tomorrow evening, winds will continue out of the south, and then we'll be seeing that next storm system head our direction as we get into the next several days. Looking toward the end of this next week, around portions of Thursday night, Friday, and into Saturday, that's where we might see the potential of some heavier rainfall coming our direction. Some of the computer models are already starting to show Lots of rainfall potential out there possible. Again, about five, maybe six inches of rainfall coming on through by the time we finish up everything going into Saturday. So for right now, it doesn't appear to be, again, anything huge immediately. But toward the end of this week, could be the possibility of some stronger weather, maybe severe weather coming on through. Now's the time to get ready for that. Know what your plan is. Get the batteries changed in your weather radio everything like that, please make sure that you've got everything ready to go before you start seeing anything in the way of severe weather out there. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that threat coming up over the next several days. Tina Korean, 37, Carrion and Bartlett, thank you very much for that one. Steve Foster, 36 in Corinth, Mississippi. Thanks for tuning in for the update. Appreciate the kind words there. 32 in Eads, Jeff Livingston, thank you very much. And Lori Todd, 39 in Friars Point, Missouri, or Mississippi, pardon me. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in for that. Here's what it looks like again into the rest of tomorrow, the end of the weekend, the end of the first weekend of 2020. Temperatures much warmer than what we're seeing for right now, back in the mid to upper 50s. And again, some areas might see a 60 degree reading or two, but not really but much more than that. So pleasant, good outdoor day tomorrow, dry, and no problems at all with winds either for right now. We'll be looking at an increase in cloud cover coming up through Monday and past sunset 
late on Monday evening into Tuesday, that's where we see a chance of rain from that first weaker system coming through by the time we hit about Tuesday. That one will be swinging in from the Rockies, the desert southwest, and out of the Cascades of Washington. That making its way in will drop our temperatures a little bit, but we'll dry out after that. We'll start to get into the Wednesday period of time, again with some clearing skies, temperatures on their way back upwards again in advance of that next and more powerful system that's going to be making its way through the Mid-South. So that by Thursday into Friday and next Saturday, showers and thunderstorms could be widespread, and we might be looking at maybe the possibility of severe weather. It's way too early to tell right now. We're just way too advanced again for anything like that. Uh, to be told at this point. It's possible, but it's just not entirely likely uh, just yet. But definitely want to keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. Through the rest of this next weekend, again, mild temperatures back in the mid-50s. Outside of temperatures tonight into Sunday morning, and once again, as we go into Wednesday morning, we might see some temperatures close to freezing territory that's as cold as it gets for the Mid-South, so we're not seeing anything out there in the way of winter weather anytime soon. And looking again at the possibility of maybe, again, some stronger weather by the end of the week. This is the time of year we really have to watch these systems as they work their way across the country, how much moisture they're going to get from the Gulf, how much energy they're bringing in over the Plain States. It all wraps up together in the Mississippi Valley, and that's where we could see the problems out there, including the potential of some very wet weather for the Mid-South that might include some flash flooding out there. So again, definitely a time now to make certain you're ready to go on all kinds of stuff like that. And again, the weather experts will help you do that throughout the course uh, into and around the area. Donna Kelsey Faulkner, we're lucky to have mild weather. That's true. A lot of people out there voting for wintertime out there, but not seeing anything uh, like that for right now. Carol Thompson Dorch, cold in Whiteville, Tennessee. Likewise, cold in Glen, Mississippi. Angela Helms, thank you very much. Uh, for that one, and Lutrice Harris, cold in Raleigh. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report, checking in from portions of the Mid-South area. Now, some concerns from a couple of viewers asking about the smoke from the wildfires on the southeastern coast of Australia and if that's going to be uh, heading our way into the Mid-South. Well, even if it was, it's still got several thousand miles to go before that happens. Right now, the concentration of smoke and ash is heaviest over New Zealand and back out into the southern Pacific, well out into the area east of New Zealand. So we're not seeing any major concern from that right now. That smoke, the forecast, is going to be taking it across the ocean back toward around the area of South America into the next several days. Matter of fact, a lot of that smoke is already there, but even more of that plume is on the way as it goes a little bit closer towards South America, especially after today, which was one of the worst wildfire days in Australian history. So a lot more smoke going on out there. Now, this plume going to be heading on through the areas of South America. It doesn't show any signs of going across the equator heading into the northern hemisphere, but eventually, yes, we will be breathing all of this in. That's one of the consequences of living in a terrarium in space. Your air just doesn't get recirculated unless it goes through things like the rainforest and getting more oxygen out of the ocean. So right now, it's not affecting the Mid-South directly. Indirectly, yes, we will be breathing this in at some point in time, just not immediately and in not anything close to the concentrations like Southeast Australia, back into around South America and New Zealand are getting at this time. So we'll keep our eyes on this. So again, this is something else to keep track of over the next couple of days and weeks. Hopefully, again, fire season down there begins to diminish, but they just started summer. So this could be a very long fire season down under as we get into the next few days. Tomorrow morning, if you're up early for daybreak and you have a chance to look outside, the International Space Station will be rising in the west-northwest at about 624 in the morning. Should be a super bright, easily seen pass tomorrow, going right underneath Polaris, the North Star, and close to, again, the very bright star Vega in the constellation of Lyra the Harp before fading away at about 630 in the morning. So again, that's rising at about 624 from the northwest and heading back toward the southeast before it fades out. Tomorrow night should be good weather, if not a little bit chilly, for a astronomy open house at Kennan Observatory 
at the Ole Miss campus in Oxford, Mississippi. Temperatures by about the time things get going at 530 will be in the mid to upper 40s, so it will be a little brisk. They'll be observing the moon, several planets, some globular clusters of stars, all kinds of neat things like that. So if you're in the Oxford area, North Mississippi, and want to learn more about astronomy, getting your kids introduced to a really cool science, here's an opportunity to do so. More information available at physics dot ole miss dot edu again if there's clouds out there they'll have to cancel that event if you got or gave a telescope for christmas and you'd like to know more about how to make it work properly how to aim how to focus anything in the way of different settings on the telescopes the astronomy experts at memphis astronomical society will answer your questions in a seminar coming up this friday evening at christian brothers university that's in a cc science hall I believe that's room 155 in the Science Auditorium, and you can find out more by going to their websites, Society underscore Memphis on Twitter, Facebook.com in groups, Memphis Astro, or go directly to their website, MemphisAstro.org, to find out more about this astronomy seminar. If you missed any of this information and would like to see it again, all you have to do is contact me at austin.onic at wrig.com or catch me on social media channels. We'll be glad to keep you updated as to what's going on in the night skies out there. Great opportunity to learn more about a very cool branch of science. Into tomorrow, one more look at the forecast. Back into the lower to mid-30s, the metro area may see some pretty good frost out there before the sun comes out and warms things up. Numbers back in the upper 30s by the time we hit 9 o'clock in the morning, but also again seeing some dry conditions into the rest of Sunday, so we could see again some pretty mild conditions out there. Updates on the forecast, including a replay of this weather blog, will be posted at wreg.com slash weather. That's our home on the World Wide Web. So if you'd like to see more about what's happening out there, not just on social media, but on our main website, that's where you want to go to for more details on what's happening across the Mid-South and points beyond. Decently quiet again for now, but later on this week, going to need to pay very close attention to what's going on with the forecast uh, into and around the area where it comes to that very heavy rainfall potential out there. And we're going to be watching that very carefully. So again, News Channel 3's website at wrig.com slash weather. Stay tuned for more on social media. And, of course, I'll have more. We're going to be on a little late tonight thanks to the NFL playoff games going on on CBS. So we'll probably be on with a late edition after 10 o'clock. So join us for that. And, of course, I'll have an update coming up on daybreak tomorrow morning. That starts bright and early on News Channel 3 at 6 o'clock. And, of course, forecast updates throughout the rest of the first weekend of 2020. Thanks a lot to everybody for joining us for tonight. Thanks for the weather reports. Thanks for dropping on by for more weather information. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend as we keep the Mid-Southerners and everybody else involved in what's going on with the weather out there. And we'll see more coming up tonight on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us.